Oh baby, oh baby, eh. Make up on free, go share, oh baby, eh, oh baby, eh. Better than gang, go oh, ya, yeah, oh baby, eh, oh baby, ha. This thing for your bag, got me like, oh baby, eh, oh baby, oh baby, eh, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, eh. Make up on free, go share, oh baby, oh baby, ha. Better than Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So to begin with, we're starting by priming our T-zone area with the Philips Milk of Magnesia. This helps to keep us matte all day long. Next, we're going in with the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer. I love this primer for filling in pores, any fine lines or any imperfections. It gives us a nice smooth base and it really does add a nice glow to the skin prepping for our foundation. Following up with this, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade. The shade is Dark Cocoa. <laughs> yes, Dark Cocoa. And I'm using this just for a little bit of color correcting um, in my dark areas underneath my eyes and around my mouth. I'm following this with by blending it in with my Real Techniques Buffer Brush, my Expert Face Brush. I love this brush. I love the density. And um, I've used it in pretty much all my videos so far as well. It's a really, really great brush for blending out uh, concealers and foundations. Following up with my favorite foundation at the moment, I mix this in with the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. And um, this is the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation in the shade 50, 55, 550, <laughs> excuse me. And I'm blending this really really nicely into the skin i only use two pumps of this to get full coverage i my skin on my skin i really don't usually use a lot of foundation but for this look i needed a perfect base so that's why i went in with this following up i'm going to conceal highlight and conceal underneath my eyes bridge of my nose my cupid's bow underneath my chin as well and I'm using the shade of the LA Girl Pro Concealer called Toast. I love this. It's about two shades lighter than my skin tone, so it's not too, too bright. And it has a nice golden yellow undertone, so it's perfect um, because my undertones are also golden yellow, so it doesn't look too crazy on me. I'm highlighting down the bridge of my nose at the moment as well. And I'm going to contour very very slightly this really just adds a bit of warmth around my forehead um on my underneath my ch um, my chin as well i'm going to highlight and down the sides of my nose and i use the black opal stick foundation in the shade walnut now using my damp beauty blender i'm going to blend all of this right in I prefer to use a damp beauty blender um, when I'm going for a more full coverage look as opposed to my brush just because it picks up any of the excess product because sometimes I'm gonna be honest I can be a little heavy-handed <laughs> with my concealers especially so it does pick up any of the excess product and it, it leaves a really really nice seamless skin like finish um, even with any of the oils it does blend that out so I'm using the pointed side to also blend down the sides of my nose, making sure I shape that nicely. The whole point for me when it comes to um, contouring my nose is not to slim down my nose to, you know, an evaporated consistency or uh, just to make my nose disappear. It's more just to shape the bridge of my nose to enhance its natural shape. And um, I'm going to continue by following up with the same toast concealer underneath my contour this is reverse contouring and the reason you do this is to really emphasize the shape of your cheekbones to make them stand out even more it's really quite a simple trick but it makes a, a world of difference when it does come to contouring especially for darker skinned women because it's sometimes hard to find um, the right shades to contour with Following up, I'm mixing the Laura Mercier uh, Loose Translucent Powder in the shade Medium Deep. This is their new shade. I'm mixing this in with my favorite Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder. I, I'm i still testing this powder out, honestly. I'm not 100% convinced yet, but it is really finely milled. But I, I feel like it's it's a bit drying, to be honest. 
but uh, I I'll I'll do a little more usage. I'll give it a a little more um get a little more use out of it before I make my final decision. But I'm continuing by setting all my highlight highlight points on my face, every single area that I highlighted, I am going to set as well. Now, following up with my contour powder, I am setting my contour with the Ruby Kisses um, mineral powder in the shade Cognac. And I love this powder. It's It has a nice bronzy golden like a toasted golden undertone so it's perfect it doesn't make me look too orange or red on my face it blends in really really nicely and I'm just showing you my contour lines I'm now following up with my ruby kisses powder in the shade chestnut and this is my all over face powder I use this to blend in any of the harsh lines just to make sure everything blends seamlessly now for the brows i have i got this eyebrow uh this brow spoolie a while ago like when i first started makeup so i don't remember exactly where it's from but i am using the ruby kisses brow pencil in the shade dark brown to fill in and shape my brows i do have an eyebrow tutorial coming up um i will film that just because i know that's something that a lot of people do ask me questions about um in terms of uh, makeup application brows are a really 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 big deal and today i'm filling them in a little darker than usual just because this is a really standout makeup piece so i wanted everything else to also be a little just slightly more dramatic i'm also following up with the ruby kisses brow mascara because um, my brows are i do have really thin brow hairs so this helps to thicken them up and make them look more uh, hair like and more defined I'm concealing my brows and shaping them and cleaning them up with the NYX full coverage concealer in the shade nutmeg I love the consistency of this concealer I have been using it consistently now for about a year and a half for my brows to clean up my brows following this I'm just going to take a kabuki brush just to blend out any concealer around my brows just to make sure we don't have any halo eyebrows next i'm going to conceal my eyes prepping it for my uh eyeshadow application and i'm using the toast shade that we had used previously and i'm setting it with the laura mercier loose translucent powder i will definitely give my review on this later on and this is the eye look we are creating. This look was created using the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. This palette is absolutely beautiful. We're going to first start by warming up our crease with the shades Morocco and Fudge from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler Palette. I love these two shades. They're really nice. Uh, c combining them together is, makes a really nice transition shade, especially for this look. Next, we are going to be going in with that beautiful, beautiful purple shade at, called Makita. And I'm using this just, a, just slightly warming up the crease as well, back and forth with that shade. And I mixed in as well Burkina and Fulani in order to just a little lower in order just to emphasize my crease a little more to further define my outer edge as well as just about halfway through my crease. I'm using the Sasha Cosmetics blush in dark brown. Now for the star of the show, this is definitely, definitely Makita. And this shade, oh my lord, is so beautiful. I did spray a little bit of Fix Plus onto my brush um, before applying it onto my lid. It's such a beautiful, beautiful purple. And just to enhance it a little more, I did add the shade Molly onto that. I am just cleaning up the edges now with a defined brush before applying my glitters. I'm using the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue to apply as my glitter adhesive to apply my glitter to create this spotlight glitter eye look. So I'm creating almost like an ombre effect with the darker purple on the outer corners 
as well as on my inner corner but with a spotlight of the more pink pinkish toned purple on the in on the uh main lid space in the middle following up with the huda beauty lashes in this shade jade i've been wearing these oh so consistently i applied the glue and i'm letting it dry the duo adhesive and in the meantime i'm go following in my waterline with the shade calabar from the juvia's place masquerade palette and this just added um, a nice complement to the spotlight glitter uh, in this the pink toned glitter in the center and I'm darkening my my lower lash line with a combination of a black uh, eyeshadow as well as the dark brown from Sasha Cosmetics. I'm now following up with some mascara. The Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I was on the hunt for a new mascara and I decided to try this out and I really do like it. And now I am bronzing up my face using the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer. Um, I like this. It, it has just a nice touch of warmth for my skin. And I am following up with my favorite highlight at the moment, the Artist Couture uh, Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. Oh my god, this shade is so, so, so beautiful. I'm lining my lips using the Nana Coco Lip Pencil in dark brown. I love to line my lips even though I'm going to do a nude lip, especially because my lips are hella huge. <laughs> I definitely do love to line them. Following up with my MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy and the NYX Lip lip gloss in miami babe i love this combination on my lips going in with my fashion fair blush in the shade ginger berry i'm slightly carving out and rounding out my cheeks and topping things up with luminoso this blush is by milani it adds a beautiful glow to my cheeks and i like just how luminous it is without being chunky it's not a chunky like glittery glow my hair is in a bun, guys. I'm not bald. <laughs> I'm finishing up with some Fix Plus, and that is the final look. This look was for our film for the Howard University African Takeover Day. Um, it took me 40 minutes to tie this ghillie, so I definitely could not put it in the video, like not even close. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think, and let me know any other suggestions you do have for future videos to record. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a blessed week. Fine girl, don't worry about dollar. You know that would be.